Hi, my name's Carmen with Main Street Yoga, and I wanted to put together a few postures uh, for you to do after your big Thanksgiving dinner. All these postures are gonna be appropriate for many body types. They're also gonna be appropriate for um, anyone who is uh, pregnant or um, working with a larger container. So the first posture that we're gonna do today is I'm gonna do a seated twist. And in a seated twist, so I used a, um, one of my dining room chairs, and in this twist, you're gonna, it's something that you can absolutely do at the table, you can do later. I picked a chair that didn't have arms because typically um, when you're at family functions, the seating, um, uh, if you're like in a folding chair or a regular dining chair, odds are you're not gonna have arms on the chair. And so with this posture, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide a little bit forward on my chair so that my feet are flat. And so in my body, my feet don't always touch the ground in every chair. From here, I'm gonna press down into my sits bones, lift up through the crown of my head, and then I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna place it on the back of the chair. Now, if you're working with a lot of tightness and you'd rather grab the side of the back of the chair, that works too. Um, from here, you're gonna rotate to the right and you're gonna take your opposite hand and place it over your opposite leg. From this position, what I wanna focus on is I wanna focus on pressing down through my sits bones and up through the crown of my head. I might even bring the twist a little deeper in my body by turning my gaze in the direction of my shoulder. Here I'm gonna breathe for about five to 10 breaths. Before returning back to center with an inhalation. After a breath or two here, I'm gonna take a nice deep breath in, regrounding through my feet and my sits bones, pressing up through the crown of my head. And then with my exhalation, rotate to the left bringing my hand to the back of the chair, or if you're more in a stool or something that doesn't have a back, you can bring your hand down behind you. Opposite hand over the opposite leg. Gaze in the direction of the back shoulder. When you're ready to inhale and come back to center, go ahead and come back to center. You can do either side a few times if you choose. You could hold longer if you'd rather, but that'll give you a nice stretch through the spine uh, and it will also not put a lot of pressure on the abdomen so that if you've eaten a little too much, you'll be okay. Thank you.